Catherine Elizabeth Hudson, known professionally as Katy Perry, is an American singer and songwriter. After singing in church during her childhood, she pursued a career in gospel music as a teenager. Perry signed with Red Hill Records and released her debut studio album Katy Hudson under her birth name in 2001, which was commercially unsuccessful. She moved to Los Angeles the following year to venture into secular music after Red Hill ceased operations and she subsequently began working with producers Glenn Ballard, Dr. Luke, and Max Martin. After adopting the stage name Katy Perry and being dropped by the Island Def Jam Music Group and Columbia Records, she signed a recording contract with Capitol Records in April 2007. Perry rose to fame in 2008 with the release of the singles I Kissed a Girl which sparked controversy for its homosexual themes and Hot and Cold from her second album, a pop rock record titled One of the Boys. Her third album, Teenage Dream, 2010, ventured into disco, and contained the US Billboard Hot 100 chart-topping singles California Girls, Teenage Dream, Firework, E.T., and Last Friday Night, TGIF, as well as the number three single The One That Got Away. The album became the first by a female artist to produce five number one songs in the U.S., and the second overall after Michael Jackson's album Bad. In March 2012, she reissued the album as Teenage Dream, The Complete Confection, which produced the songs Part of Me and Wide Awake. Her fourth album, Prism, was released in 2013, and is influenced by pop and dance. She became the first artist with multiple videos to reach 1 billion views on Vivo with the videos for its songs Roar and Dark Horse. Perry has received many awards, including four Guinness World Records, a Brit Award, and a Juno Award, and been included in the Forbes list of Top Earning Women in Music, 2011-2016. Her estimated net worth as of 2016 is $125 million. She is one of the best-selling musical artists of all time, having sold 100 million records globally throughout her career. In film, she released an autobiographical documentary titled Katy Perry, Part of Me in 2012, and voiced Smurfette in the 2011 film The Smurfs and its sequel in 2013. Life and Career 1984-1998, Early Life Catherine Elizabeth Hudson was born in Santa Barbara, California, to Pentecostal pastors Mary Christine, née Perry, and Maurice Keith Hudson. Her parents are born-again Christians, each having turned to religion after a wild youth. Perry has English, German, Irish, and Portuguese ancestry. Through her mother, she is a niece of film director Frank Perry. She has a younger brother named David, who is a singer, and an older sister, Angela. From ages 3 to 11, Perry often moved across the country as her parents set up churches before settling again in Santa Barbara. Growing up, she attended religious schools and camps, including Paradise Valley Christian School in Arizona and Santa Barbara Christian School in California during her elementary years. Her family struggled financially sometimes using food stamps and eating from the food bank intended to feed the congregation at her parents' church. Growing up, Perry and her siblings were not allowed to eat Lucky Charms as the term luck reminded their mother of Lucifer, and had to call deviled eggs angelied eggs. Perry primarily listened to gospel music, as secular music was generally discouraged in the family's home. She discovered popular music through CDs she sneaked from her friends. While not strictly identifying as religious, Perry has stated, I pray all the time for self-control, for humility. Following her sister Angela, Perry began singing by practicing with her sister's cassette tapes. She performed the tracks in front of their parents, who suggested she take vocal lessons. She began training at age 9, and was incorporated into her parents' ministry singing in church from ages 9 to 17. At 13, Perry was given her first guitar for her birthday and publicly performed songs she wrote. She tried to be a bit like the typical Californian girl while growing up, and started roller skating, skateboarding, and surfing as a teenager. David described her as a tomboy during her adolescence. She took dancing lessons and learned how to swing, lindy hop, and jitterbug. 
1999-2006, Career Beginnings During her freshman year of high school, Perry completed her General Educational Development GED, requirements at age 15, and left Dos Pueblos High School to pursue a musical career. She briefly studied Italian opera at the Music Academy of the West in Santa Barbara. Her singing caught the attention of rock artists Steve Thomas and Jennifer Knapp from Nashville, Tennessee, who brought her there to improve her writing skills. In Nashville, she started recording demos and learned how to write songs and play guitar. After signing with Red Hill Records, Perry recorded her debut album, a gospel record titled Katie Hudson. She released the album on March 6, 2001, and went on tour that year as part of Phil Joel's Strangely Normal Tour. Katie Hudson received positive reviews from critics, though was commercially unsuccessful and sold an estimated 200 copies before the label ceased operations in December. Transitioning from gospel music to secular music, Perry started writing songs with producer Glenn Ballard, and moved to Los Angeles at age 17. In 2003, she briefly performed as Catherine Perry to avoid confusion with actress Kate Hudson. She later adopted the stage name Katy Perry, using her mother's maiden name. In 2004, Perry signed to Ballard's label, Java which was then affiliated with the Island Def Jam Music Group. She began work on a solo record, but the record was shelved after Java was dropped. Ballard then introduced Perry to Tim Devine, an on our executive at Columbia Records, and she was signed as a solo artist. Over the course of the next two years, Perry wrote and recorded material for her Columbia debut, and worked with songwriters including Desmond Child, Greg Wells, Butch Walker, Scott Cutler and Previn, The Matrix, Cara Diaguardi, and Max Martin and Dr. Luke. In addition, after Divine suggested they become a real group, she recorded with The Matrix. Perry was dropped from Columbia in 2006 as her record neared completion. After she was dropped from Columbia, Perry worked at an independent on our company called Taxi Music. Perry had minor success prior to her breakthrough. One of the songs she had recorded for her album with Ballard, Simple, was featured on the soundtrack to the 2005 film The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. She provided backing vocals on Mick Jagger's song Old Habits Die Hard, which was included on the soundtrack to the 2004 film Alfie. In September 2004, Blender named Perry the next big thing. She recorded background vocals on P.O.D.S. single Goodbye for Now and was featured at the end of its music video in 2006. That year, Perry also appeared in the music video for Learn to Fly by Carbon Leaf, and played the love interest of her then boyfriend, Jim Class Heroes lead singer Travi McCoy, in the band's music video for Cupid's Chokehold. 2007 2009 Breakthrough with One of the Boys After Columbia dropped Perry, Angelica Cobb Baylor, then a publicity executive at the label, brought Perry's demos to Virgin Records chairman Jason Flom. Flom was convinced that she could be a breakthrough star and she was signed to Capitol Records in April 2007. The label arranged for her to work with Dr. Luke in order to add an undeniable smash to her existing material. Perry and Dr. Luke Sio wrote the songs I Kissed a Girl and Hot and Cold for her second album One of the Boys. A campaign was started with the November 2007 release of the video to Ur So Gay, aimed at introducing her to the music market. A digital EP led by Ur So Gay was later released to create interest. Madonna helped publicize the song by praising the track on the John Jay and Rich radio show in April 2008, stating it was her favorite song. In March 2008, Perry made a cameo appearance as a club singer in the Wildfire episode Life's Too Short, and appeared as herself during a photo shoot in June on The Young and the Restless for the show's magazine Restless Style. Perry released her first single with Capital, I Kissed a Girl, on April 28, 2008, as the lead single from One of the Boys. The first station to pick up the song was WRVW in Nashville who were inundated with enthusiastic calls the first three days they played it. The track reached number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. One of the Boys, released on June 17, garnered mixed critical reviews and reached number nine on the U.S. Billboard 200. 
the album went on to sell 7 million copies worldwide. Hot and Cold was released in September and became the album's second successful single, reaching number three on the Billboard Hot 100, while topping charts in Germany, Canada, the Netherlands, and Austria. Later singles Thinking of You and Waking Up in Vegas were released in 2009 and reached the top 30 of the Hot 100. The Matrix's self titled debut album, which Perry had recorded with the band in 2004, was released onto iTunes on January 27, 2009, as a result of her solo success. After finishing the Warp Tour 2008, Perry hosted the 2008 MTV Europe Music Awards in November 2008 where she won the award for Best New Act. At the 2009 Brit Awards, she also won the award for International Female Solo Artist. Perry embarked on her first headlining world tour, the Hello Katie Tour, from January to November 2009 to support one of the boys. On August 4, 2009, she performed as opening act for one date of the band No Doubt Summer Tour 2009. Perry also hosted the 2009 MTV Europe Music Awards in November 2009, becoming the first person to host two consecutive ceremonies. On July 22, 2009, Perry recorded a live album titled MTV Unplugged, which featured acoustic performances of five tracks from One of the Boys, as well as two new songs, Brick by Brick and Hackensack. It was released on November 17, 2009. Perry also appeared on two singles with other artists, she was featured on a remix of Colorado-based band 303's song Starstruck in September 2009, and on a duet with Timbaland entitled If We Ever Meet Again, from his album Shock Value 2, in January 2010. The Guinness World Records recognized her in its 2010 edition as the best start on the U.S. digital chart by a female artist for digital single sales of over 2 million copies. I Kissed a Girl created controversy among both religious groups and LGBT groups. The former criticized its homosexual themes while the latter accused her of using by curiosity to sell records. In response to speculation that her parents opposed her music and career, Perry told MTV that they had no problems with her success. After her relationship with McCoy ended in December 2008, Perry met her future husband Russell Brand in the summer of 2009 while filming a cameo appearance for his film Get Him to the Greek. Her scene, in which the two kiss, does not appear in the film. She began dating Brand after meeting him again that September at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards. The couple became engaged on December 31, 2009, while vacationing in Rajasthan, India. 2010-2012, Teenage Dream and Marriage After serving as a guest judge on American Idol, Perry released California Girls featuring rapper Snoop Dogg on May 7, 2010. The song was the lead single from her third studio album, Teenage Dream, and reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in June. She also served as a guest judge on The X Factor UK later that month before releasing the album's second single, Teenage Dream, in July. Teenage Dream reached number one on Billboard in September. Released on August 24, 2010, the album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. It received mixed reviews from music critics, and has since sold six million copies globally. Teenage Dream would go on to win the 2011 Juno Award for International Album of the Year. In October, Firework was released as the album's third single. It became the album's third consecutive number one on the Hot 100 on December 8, 2010. A remixed version of E.T. featuring rapper Kanye West was released as the fourth single from Teenage Dream on February 16, 2011. It topped the Hot 100 chart for five non-consecutive weeks, making Teenage Dream the ninth album in history to produce four number one singles on the Hot 100. Last Friday Night, TGIF, followed as the fifth single in June, and Perry became the first female artist to achieve five number one Hot 100 songs from one album when the single topped that chart on August 17, and the second artist after Michael Jackson with his album Bad. For this record, 
she received an Honorary American Music Award in November 2011 and a 2013 Guinness World Record. On September 7, she set a new record by becoming the first artist to spend 69 consecutive weeks in the top 10 of the Hot 100. In October, The One That Got Away was released as the album's sixth single. The song peaked at number 3 on the Hot 100 and number 2 in Canada. On February 13, 2012, Capital released the lead single from Teenage Dream, The Complete Confection, Part of Me, which debuted at number 1 on the Hot 100 and became Perry's seventh single overall to top the chart. Teenage Dream, The Complete Confection was released on March 23. Wide Awake was released on May 22 as the re release's second single peaking at number 2 on the Hot 100 and number 1 in Canadian New Zealand. On January 5, she was named the sixth best-selling digital artist in the United States, with sales of 37.6 million units according to Nielsen SoundScan. That month, she became the first artist to have four songs sell over 5 million digital units. Perry embarked on her second tour, the California Dreams Tour in support of Teenage Dream from February 2011 to January 2012. The tour grossed $59.5 million globally and won her the award for Best Live Act at the 2011 MTV Europe Music Awards. On September 23, 2011, she performed on the opening day of the 2011 Rock in Rio Festival along with Elton John, Claudia Light, and Rihanna. In September 2010, Perry was scheduled to appear on the 41st season premiere of Sesame Street. After her scene was uploaded to YouTube, viewers criticized Perry's exposed cleavage. Four days before the scheduled airing, Sesame Workshop announced that the segment would not air on television, but would still be available to watch online. Perry subsequently mocked the controversy on Saturday Night Live where she was a musical guest and wore an Elmo-themed shirt showing large amounts of cleavage during one skit. In December 2010, Perry played Moses Luck's girlfriend in the live-action segment from a Christmas episode of The Simpsons titled The Fight Before Christmas. In February 2011, she made a guest appearance on the How I Met Your Mother episode Oh Honey, playing a woman known as Honey. The role won her the People's Choice Award for Favorite TV Guest Star in January 2012. She made her film debut in the 3D family motion picture The Smurfs as Smurfette on July 29, 2011. The film was a financial success worldwide, while critics gave mostly negative reviews. She hosted Saturday Night Live on December 10, 2011, with Robin as the episode's musical guest. Perry's work on the episode received generally positive reviews from critics, who praised her performance in the episode's digital short featuring her and Andy Samberg. In March 2012, she guest starred as a prison security guard named Ricky on the Raising Hope episode single white female role model. On July 5, 2012, Perry's autobiographical documentary Katy Perry, Part of Me was released to theaters through Paramount Pictures. The film received positive reviews and grossed $32.7 million worldwide at the box office. Perry began to venture into business when she endorsed her first fragrance, Purr, in November 2010. Her second fragrance, Meow, was released in December 2011. Both perfumes were released through Nordstrom department stores. Electronic Arts recruited her to promote their new expansion pack for The Sims 3. Showtime, before releasing a separate stuff pack featuring Perry-inspired furniture, outfits, and hairstyles, titled The Sims 3, Katy Perry's Sweet Treats, in June 2012. The following month, she became the spokesperson and ambassador for Pop Chips and made an investment in the company. Billboard dubbed her as their Woman of the Year for 2012. She married Russell Brand on October 23, 2010 in a traditional Hindu ceremony near the Ranthamhor Tiger Sanctuary in Rajasthan. Brand announced on December 30, 2011, that they were divorcing after 14 months of marriage. Perry later stated that conflicting career schedules and his desire to have children before she was ready led to the end of their marriage, 
and that he never spoke to her again after sending a text message that he was divorcing her while Brand asserted that he divorced her due to her commercial success and reluctance to engage in activism. She was initially distraught over their divorce, and said that she contemplated suicide. After the marriage ended in 2012, Perry began a relationship with singer John Mayer that August. 2013-2015, Prism and Super Bowl 49 Halftime Show In November 2012, Perry began work on her fourth album, Prism. She told Billboard, I know exactly the record I want to make next. I know the artwork, the coloring and the tone and I even know what type of tour I'm doing next. I'll be very pleased if the vision I have in my head becomes a reality. Although she told El Uomo Vogue in June 2012 that she planned to have darker elements in Prism following the end of her marriage, Perry revealed to MTV during the 2013 MTV Video Music Awards that she changed the album's direction after periods of self-reflection. She commented I felt very prismatic, which inspired the album's name. Roar was released as the lead single from Prism on August 10, 2013. It was promoted at the MTV Video Music Awards and reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Unconditionally was released as the second single from Prism on October 16, 2013, and peaked at number 14 in the United States. Prism was released on October 18, 2013, and has sold 4 million copies as of August 2015. It received positive reviews from critics and debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart. Four days later, Perry performed the songs from the album at the iHeart Radio Theater in Los Angeles. Dark Horse was released as the album's third single on December 17, 2013, and became her ninth U.S. number one single on January 29, 2014. In 2014, Birthday and This Is How We Do followed as the album's fourth and fifth singles, and reached the top 25 on the Hot 100. Prior to ending her relationship with Mayer in February 2014, she recorded and CO wrote a duet with him titled Who You Love for his album Paradise Valley. The song was released on August 12, 2013. Perry's third headlining tour, The Prismatic World Tour, began in May 2014 and concluded in October 2015. It grossed $204.3 million worldwide and won Perry the award for top package at the 2014 Billboard Touring Awards. She also performed at the 2015 Rock in Rio Festival on September 27, 2015. On November 23, 2014, the NFL announced that Perry would perform at the Super Bowl 49 halftime show on February 1, 2015. Lenny Kravitz and Missy Elliott served as special guests for the show. Two days after the halftime show, the Guinness World Records announced that Perry's performance garnered 118.5 million viewers in the United States, and became the most watched and highest rated show in Super Bowl history. The viewership was higher than the game itself which was viewed by an audience of 114.4 million. The International Federation of the Phonographic Industry, IFPI, ranked her fifth on the list of top global recording artists of 2013. On June 26, 2014, she was declared the top certified digital artist ever by the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA for certified sales of 72 million digital singles in the United States. In May 2014, a portrait of Perry by painter Mark Ryden was featured in his exhibition The Gay 90s, and shown at the Cone Gallery in Los Angeles. Along with several other artists, she also recorded a cover version of the song Daisy Bell, Bicycle Built for Two, on a limited edition concept album titled The Gay 90s Old Time Music. Daisy Bell to accompany the exhibition. That month, a portrait of Perry by artist Will Cotton was included in the United States National Portrait Gallery. On November 23, 2015, Perry starred in Handem's holiday advertising campaign, for which she wrote and recorded a song titled Every Day is a Holiday. On June 17, 2014, Perry announced that she had founded her own record label under Capitol Records titled Metamorphosis Music. 
Faraz was the first artist to get signed to her label, and Perry served as an executive producer on his self-titled EP. She also recorded a duet with him on the EP, titled Legends Never Die. Outside of her music career, Perry reprised her role as Smurfette in The Smurfs 2 which was released in theaters on July 31, 2013. Like its predecessor, The Smurfs 2 was a financial success but was panned by critics. In March 2014, she made a guest appearance playing herself in the episode Blisteritos Presents Dad Academy Graduation Congraduritos Red Carpet Viewing Party of The Kroll Show. Killer Queen was released as her third fragrance in August 2013 through Cody, Inc. In January 2014, she became a guest curator of Madonna's Art for Freedom Initiative. In March 2015, she appeared in Brand, A Second Coming, a documentary following her ex-husband Russell Brand's transition from comedy work to activism and released a concert film titled Katy Perry, The Prismatic World Tour Through Epics which took place during her tour of the same name. Perry also made a cameo appearance in the music video for Madonna's song Bitch I'm Madonna in June 2015. The following month, she released another fragrance with Cody, entitled Mad Potion. In September 2015, she appeared in the documentaries Katy Perry, Making of the Pepsi Super Bowl Halftime Show, which followed Perry's preparation for her Super Bowl performance, and Jeremy Scott. The People's Designer, which followed the life and career of designer Jeremy Scott. Perry released a mobile app titled Katy Perry Pop in December 2015 through Glow Mobile where her character helps players become famous musicians. She described it as the most fun, colorful world that helps guide your musical dreams. 2016 Present, Upcoming Fifth Studio Album after Perry appeared as herself in the film Zoolander 2 which was released in February 2016, she confirmed the following May that she was working on new music. She recorded an anthem for NBC Sports's coverage of the 2016 Summer Olympics titled Rise, which was released on July 14, 2016. Perry chose to release it as a standalone track rather than save it for an album because now more than ever, there is a need for our world to unite. NBC also felt its message spoke directly to the spirit of the Olympics and its athletes for its inspirational themes. The song debuted at number one in Australia and number 11 in the United States. In August, Perry stated that she aspired to make material that connects and relates and inspires and told Ryan Seacrest that she was not rushing her fifth album, adding I'm just having a lot of fun, but experimenting and trying different producers, and different collaborators and different styles. On February 10, 2017, Perry released a single with Skip Marley titled Chain to the Rhythm. Artistry Influences During the early stages of her career, Perry's musical style gravitated towards gospel and she aspired to be as successful as Amy Grant. At the age of 15, she heard Queen's Killer Queen, which inspired her to pursue a career in music. She cites the band's frontman, Freddie Mercury, as her biggest influence and expressed how the combination of his sarcastic approach to writing lyrics and his I don't give a fuck attitude inspired her music. She paid homage to the band by naming her third fragrance Killer Queen. Perry described the Beach Boys and their album Pet Sounds as having a considerable influence on her music. Pet Sounds is one of my favorite records and it influenced pretty much all of my songwriter. All of the melody choices that I make are because of pet sounds. The singer also holds the Beatles album The Beatles in High Esteem, and described these two albums as the only things I listened to for probably two years straight. Perry cites Alanis Morissette and her 1995 album Jagged Little Pill as a significant musical inspiration, and opted to work with Morissette as frequent collaborator Ballard as a result. Perry stated, Jagged Little Pill was the most perfect female record ever made. There's a song for anyone on that record, I relate to all those songs. They're still so timeless. Additionally, Perry borrows influence from Flaming Red by Patty Griffin and Ten Cent Wings by Jonathan Brooke. Perry intends to become more of a Joni Mitchell, releasing folk and acoustic music. Perry's autobiographical documentary Katy Perry Part of me was largely influenced by Madonna, Truth or Dare.
she admires Madonna's ability to reinvent herself, saying I want to evolve like Madonna, and has credited Madonna for inspiring her to make Prism darker than her previous material. Perry names Bjork as an influence, particularly admiring her willingness to always be taking chances. Other musicians who Perry has cited as influences include ABBA, The Cardigans, Cindy Lauper, Ace of Bass, 303, Cease Peniston, CNC Music Factory, Black Box, Crystal Waters, Mariah Carey Hart, Joni Mitchell, Paul Simon, Imogen Heap, Rufus Wainwright, Pink, and Gwen Stefani. Firework was inspired by a passage in the book On the Road by Jack Kerouac in which the author compares people who are full of life to fireworks that shoot across the sky and make people watch in awe. Her second concert tour, the California Dreams Tour, was reminiscent of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and The Wonderful Wizard of Ounce. She also credits the 1996 movie The Craft for inspiring her song Dark Horse, and Eckhart Tolle's book The Power of Now for influencing Prism. Musical Style and Themes While Perry's music incorporates pop, rock, and disco, Katie Hudson contains gospel. Her subsequent releases, One of the Boys and Teenage Dream, involve themes of sex and love. One of the Boys is a pop rock record, while Teenage Dream features disco influences. Perry's fourth album, Prism, is significantly influenced by dance and pop music. Lyrically, the album addresses relationships, self-reflection, and everyday life. Many of her songs, particularly on Teenage Dream, reflect on love between teenagers. W described the album's sexual innuendos as irresistible hook-laden melodies. Self-empowerment is a common theme in Perry's music. Perry describes herself as a singer-songwriter masquerading as a pop star and maintains that honest songwriter is very important to her. She told Marie Claire, I feel like my secret magic trick that separates me from a lot of my peers is the bravery to be vulnerable and truthful and honest. I think you become more relatable when you're vulnerable. Kristen Wiig commented that as easy, breezy, and infectious as Perry's songs can be, beneath the surface lurks a sea of mixed emotions, jumbled motives, and contradictory impulses complicated enough to fill a Carol King record. According to Greg Cott of Chicago Tribune, being taken seriously may be Perry's greatest challenge yet. The New York Times labeled her the most potent pop star of the day her hits are relatable with just a hint of experimentation. Randall Roberts of Los Angeles Times criticized her use of idioms and metaphors in her lyrics and for frequent clichés. Throughout her career, Perry has co written songs recorded by other artists, including Selena Gomez and The Scene, Jesse James, Kelly Clarkson, Leslie Roy, Britney Spears, Iggy Azalea, and Nicki Minaj. Voice Perry has a contralto vocal range. Her singing has received both praise and criticism. Betty Clark of The Guardian commented that her powerful voice is hard-edged while Rob Sheffield from Rolling Stone described Perry's vocals on Teenage Dream as processed staccato blips. Darren Harvey of Music OMH compared Perry's vocals on One of the Boys to Alanis Morissette's, both possessing a perky voice shifting octaves mid-syllable. Alex Miller from NME felt that Perry's problem is often her voice on One of the Boys, stating that somewhere along the line someone convinced her she was like, well, a ballsy rock chick. Conversely, Bernadette McNulty from The Daily Telegraph praised her rock chick voice in a review of a concert promoting Prism. Public Image Perry is considered a sex symbol, GQ labeled her a full-on male fantasy while Elle described her body as though sketched by a teenage boy. Vice described her as a serious pop star woman sex symbol. She was placed at number one on the Maxim Hot 100 in 2010 as the most beautiful woman in the world, with editor Joe Levy describing her as a triple no quadruple kind of hot. Men's health readers voted her the sexiest woman of 2013. In November 2010, Perry told Harper's Bazaar that she was proud of and satisfied with her figure. Perry's fashion often incorporates humor, bright colors, and food-related themes such as her trademark spinning peppermint swirl dress. Vogue described her as never exactly one to shy away from the outrageous or the extreme in any realm, while Glamour named her the Queen of Quirk.
In February 2009, Perry told Seventeen that her fashion style was a bit of a concoction of different things and stated she enjoyed humor in her clothing. She has also described herself as having multi-personality disorder for fashion. Perry lists Gwen Stefani, Shirley Manson, Chloe Sevigny, Daphne Guinness, Natalie Portman, and the fictional character Lolita as her style icons. On social media, Perry surpassed Justin Bieber as the most followed person on Twitter in November 2013. She won the 2015 Guinness World Record for most Twitter followers and became the first person to gain 90 million followers on the site in July 2016. Forbes writer Dorothy Pomerantz commended Perry on her social media usage, saying Perry makes excellent use of Twitter, talking to her fans and sharing funny photos and videos in a way that makes them all feel like Perry is their best buddy. Keith Caulfield of Billboard stated that she is the rare celebrity who seems to have enormous popularity but genuine ground-level interaction with her adoring Katie Katz. In 2011, Forbes ranked Perry third on their top earning women in music list with earnings of $44 million and fifth on their 2012 list with $45 million. She subsequently ranked seventh on the 2013 Forbes list for top earning women in music with $39 million earned, and fifth on their 2014 list with $40 million. With earnings of $135 million, Forbes also ranked Perry number one on their 2015 top earning women in music list as well as the world's highest paid musicians and declared her the highest earning female celebrity in 2015 placing her at number three on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list. In 2016, the magazine estimated her net worth was $125 million, and ranked her number six on the their list of highest paid women in music with earnings of $41 million. Other Ventures Philanthropy Perry has supported various charitable organizations and causes during her career. She has contributed to organizations aimed at improving the lives and welfare of children in particular. In April 2013, she joined UNICEF to assist children in Madagascar with education and nutrition. On December 3, 2013, she was officially named a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, with a special focus on engaging young people in the agency's work to improve the lives of the world's most vulnerable children and adolescents. She arranged for a portion of the money generated from tickets to her Prismatic World Tour to go to UNICEF. In September 2010, she helped build and design the Boys Hope Girls Hope Foundation Shelter for Youth in Baltimore, Maryland along with Raven Simone, Shaquille O'Neal and the cast of Extreme Makeover, Home Edition. She has also supported children's education and well-being. All profits from sales of the album The Gay 90s Old Time Music Daisy Bell, which includes her rendition of Daisy Bell, Bicycle Built for Two, were donated to the charity Little Kids Rock, which supports musical education in underprivileged elementary schools. In June 2014, she teamed up with Staples Incorporated for a project entitled Make Roar Happen, which donated $1 million to Donors Choose, an organization that supports teachers and funds classroom resources in public schools. In May 2016, she worked with UNICEF to improve child care quality in Vietnam, hoping to break the cycle of poverty and drastically improve children's health, education, and well-being. The following month, UNICEF announced that Perry would receive the Audrey Hepburn Humanitarian Award for her work as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador in support of the world's most vulnerable children at their annual Snowflake Ball in November. Perry has supported organizations aimed at aiding people suffering with diseases including cancer and HIV AIDS. During the 2008 Warped Tour, she had a cast made of her breasts to raise money for the Keep A Breast Foundation. She hosted and performed at the We Can Survive concert along with Bonnie McKee, Casey Musgraves, Sarah Bareilles, Ellie Golding, and Duo Tegan and Sarah at the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles, California, on October 23, 2013. The concert's profits were donated to Young Survival Coalition, an organization aiding breast cancer in young women. In June 2009, she designed an item of clothing for Handm's Fashion Against AIDS campaign, which raises money for HIV AIDS awareness projects. On February 26, 2017, 
she will serve as a CEO chair alongside various celebrities such as Beyoncé, Lee Michelle, Jim Carrey, Jared Leto, and Kevin Spacey for the 25th annual Elton John AIDS Foundation Academy Award Party, a fundraiser for HIV-AIDS Healthcare. The proceeds from Perry's single part of me were donated to the charity Moosey Cares, which helps musicians in times of need. During her California Dreams tour, she raised over $175,000 for the tickets for charity fundraiser. The money was divided between three charities, the Children's Health Fund, CHF, Generosity Water and the Humane Society of the United States. On her 27th birthday, Perry set up a donations page for the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Auckland, and set up a similar page benefiting the David Lynch Foundation for her 28th birthday. On March 29, 2014, she helped raise $2.4 million for the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles along with other celebrities such as Ryan Seacrest, Farrell Williams, Tim Allen, Lisa Edelstein, and Riley Kia. Politics Perry is a LGBT rights activist. She supported Stonewall during their It Gets Better. Today campaigned to prevent homophobic bullying and dedicated the music video to her song Firework to the It Gets Better project. Perry told Do Something in November 2008 she was proud to be a gay activist, saying I've always been a very open-minded person, but I definitely believe in equality. She confirmed that she voted against Proposition 8, an amendment, ultimately ruled unconstitutional, that legally defined marriage as a union solely between a man and a woman in California. In June 2012, Perry expressed her hopes for LGBT equality, commenting hopefully, we will look back at this moment and think like we do now concerning other civil rights issues. We'll just shake our heads in disbelief, saying, thank God we've evolved. That would be my prayer for the future. In December 2012, Perry was awarded the Trevor Hero Award by the Trevor Project for her work and activism on behalf of LGBT youth. She identifies as a feminist, and appeared in April 2013 in a video clip for the Chime for Change campaign that aims to spread female empowerment. She has also said that America's lack of free health care drove her absolutely crazy. Following the shooting at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando in June 2016, Perry and nearly 200 other artists and executives in music signed an open letter organized by Billboard addressed to United States Congress demanding increased gun control in the United States. Through Twitter and by performing at his rallies, Perry supported President Barack Obama in his run for re-election and praised his support for same-sex marriage and LGBT equality. She performed at three rallies for Obama, in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Wisconsin singing a rendition of Let's Stay Together as well as a number of her songs. During her Las Vegas performance she wore a dress made to replicate a voting ballot, with Obama's box filled in. On Twitter, she encouraged her followers to vote for Obama. In August 2013, Perry voiced criticism of Tony Abbott, then leader of Conservative Liberal Party of Australia and candidate for Prime Minister of Australia, due to his opposition to gay marriage and told Abbott, I love you as a human being but I can't give you my vote. In April 2014, she publicly supported Marianne Williamson in her campaign for California's 33rd Congressional District by attending a political press event. She endorsed Kamala Harris in the United States Senate election in California, and organized a fundraiser for Harris at her home in Los Angeles in November 2016. Perry also publicly endorsed former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for president in 2016. She performed alongside Elton John at a fundraising concert for Clinton in New York City in March 2016. Perry also spoke and performed at the 2016 Democratic National Convention to endorse Hillary Clinton. Achievements Throughout her career, Perry has won five American Music Awards, 14 People's Choice Awards, four Guinness World Records Brit Award and a Juno Award. In September 2012, Billboard dubbed her the Woman of the Year. From May 2010 to September 2011, she spent a record-breaking total of 69 consecutive weeks in the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. Teenage Dream became the first album by a female artist to produce five number one Billboard Hot 100 singles, 
and the second album overall after Michael Jackson's Bad Dot she has accumulated a total of nine number one singles on the Hot 100, her most recent being Dark Horse. In June 2015, her music video for Dark Horse became the first video by a female artist to reach 1 billion views on Vivo. The following month, her music video for Roar reached 1 billion views on Vivo, making her the first artist to have multiple videos with 1 billion views. Perry was declared the top global female recording artist of 2013 by the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry, IFPI, dot according to Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA, she is the third best-selling digital singles artist in the United States, with certified sales of 83.5 million digital singles including on-demand streaming. Her songs Firework, E.T., California Girls, Hot and Cold, Roar, and Dark Horse have each sold over 5 million digital copies. Throughout her career, Perry has sold 100 million records globally, and is one of the best-selling musical artists of all time.